Hi Dresser Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw mermaid Pusheen. So let's get started. To draw this cute mermaid, let's first start by drawing Pusheen's ears. So I'm going to come right here and just draw angle up, round off the tip, and then we're going to come right back down. So we got one ear in, and then we're going to have to draw the strand of hair that's floating across her face. So to make that a little bit easier, I'm going to bring this down. I'm just going to curve it down tentatively. I'm going to come back up here and draw another curve that's going to go across and be tentative about that too. So then from there, I just want to kind of figure out how wide we want her head to be. So just imagine her head was about right here, top of her head. I'm going to come back right here, put in this area, and I'm going to pop out another ear. So just make sure it's about the same height, round off the tip, and come right back down. So the most important thing is to put in these two ears so that that determines the top of her head. Then from there, let's bring this down a little bit more, just like your usual pusheen. We're going to get a little bit wider. And so now that we know this ear is here, we can bring this strand out a bit more. Then we'll finish that strand a little bit later. Let's work on her body. So let's imagine this coming through. So then about right here. We can go ahead and start to draw her body. There. So that's the most important part. Like I said, is these two points right there to get in. Then from there, let's come back up and let's say about right um, here. In this area, the center and then come out a little bit. So say about right here, right underneath the strand. I'm going to come here and draw a straight line down and then curve it out on both sides and curve out a little bit and then let's come to the sides and we're going to draw pushing beautiful eyes well one eye only we're just going to draw a soft curve and then we're going to draw three lashes that come out there so this side is being covered so we don't need to draw the other eye and then you can always come back and fix the strand however you need. So now that we have that in, let's come back here. Before I forget, I'm going to draw some whiskers. I'm going to come out about right here, come where the eye is, and I'll pop in two whiskers. Then from there, um, let's go ahead and draw her hair, right? And make her really pretty. So I'm going to come out right here, and I'm just going to bring out this curve, and let's bring it out nice and long. It's flowy flowing in the water. So about right there. And we got another strand about right here. And one that comes up. So let's find the tip of her ear. Let's come right about here. We're going to go up and come across, give it a little wave and, uh, and bring it in and just go ahead and taper it in. And then the last strand we need to draw is right here. We're just going to go ahead and round it off and bring it right back. About right here. Just taper it in. There. So now she has her beautiful hair. Okay. So now that we're done with that, we can finally draw her body. So let's come down. And we're going to start to draw her mermaid tail. So let's bring this in. So about right there, um, well, let's draw her hands first. So right underneath her eye, say about right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve that comes in for one hand. And let's come about right here, draw the other hand. So same exact thing, just two little curves. Then about right, say about right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve across. So this is kind of where her tail is going to start. So let's just draw it across and then I'm going to bring this in. So we're going to curve in on this side and then this side's going to be a little bit straighter. So let's go back and forth. And we're just going to taper it in. So we're just moving in this direction. So about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and come about right here, round this off and connect. There. 
And then let's come to the end right here. We're going to draw her tail. So there's basically two ovals, nice and simple. One and then another one, about right here. And connect. From there, let's go ahead and draw some details on the tail. So we're going to come about right here and we're going to start to draw some curves all the way across just to fancy it up all the way across. There, and then we can come about right here and just draw three more curves just for indication of some scales. And one more here, just two on this side. And let's see here. And that is pretty much it for our drawing of Mermaid Pusheen. And I thought it would be really cute if we just gave her a scenery. So if you want to do that, let's come about, um, let's say about right here on the bottom. I'm going to draw some seaweed first. So I really hope this drawing inspires you. If you love Pusheen and you love mermaids, I really hope you love this drawing. So come right here, I'm just going to draw a center and then we can come about right here as well and draw another, um, some more seaweed just to fill in the background. There, and then we can come across about right here, just kind of wobble the floor, go across, oh, about right there, and then we can um, maybe give it some, some rocks in the back, another mound right here. So it looks like the ocean floor, and we can always add some um, sea stars. Just draw a rounded off star right here. Some seashells. Uh, let's see here. Um, maybe another, put another sea star right here. However you wanna decorate. And we can add some sparkles, of course. So I'm gonna come right here and draw some sparkles. So curve out and then meet in the center and back up. And one more. And let's draw some bubbles to really spruce this up. And let's see, that's pretty much it. Um, add some little circles here and there. So they're all done. I really hope you love how Mermaid Pusheen here turned out with her scenery and that I helped you draw this fun and easy. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.